Hello, potato. Are you feeling a little tired, a little run down, like you could use a little pep in your step? You know what then? That means it's coffee time. And today, we're gonna try coffee from Cafe Time. It claims to be ready to drink. We have Cafe Time Mocha Coffee and Cafe Time Espresso Coffee. And that's interesting to see that because you don't see the word, the spelling rather, espresso on things very often. Generally, people regard that as a uh, mispronunciation but through some very, very minimal research, apparently it is an acceptable spelling and pronunciation. It just depends on whether or not you are starting from the Latin root for to express or the Italian root for to express. I'm not going to go into that. This isn't that kind of a channel. And I could be wrong. So I picked this up at our local discount store because, you know, you may have seen in the picture I posted last week that I did a little bit of shopping and picked up some things for future videos. And tinned coffees are kind of an interesting thing. Like, I really like the UCC coffees. Um, you can find them frequently at international markets. I think Cost Plus carries them. Daiso carries them. Um, they're very nice uh, imported milk coffees. And then we look at the American variants tend to be a little more on the sweet side. Like I used to, when I was young, when I was young, like teenager, early 20s, I really like the Starbucks Frappuccino bottle drinks and um, the Java Monsters from Monster Energy Drink. But those are both really kind of sickeningly sweet now. You know, I guess my tastes have changed a little bit. And aside from them, I really wasn't in to iced coffees back then because I kind of had the opinion of they just make you thirstier and maybe it's because I was drinking crappy ones like Frappuccinos. But we're going to give these a try because I, I drink iced coffee a lot more now. Iced coffee, iced brewed coffee, cold brewed coffee. I like my coffee. But we're going to try these. Uh, they're both well in date. Interestingly, so ingredient-wise, so they have the same ingredients listed. Um, water, sugar, milk powder, coffee, emulsifier, monoglycerides of fatty acids, sodium bicarbonate, carbon, carboxymethyl, cellulose, and flavoring. They both have the exact same ingredients. Trust me, I've looked at this one, it says the same thing. Uh, you know what's missing from this though? Chocolate. Or need anything to give it any sort of a mocha taste. But I guess that falls under flavoring. Uh, calorie wise, this does have more calories, presumably from whatever is giving it the coffee, the mocha flavor. Uh, they're both single serving, 134 calories, 130 calories. Let's see, no fiber. I wouldn't expect any. 5% of your daily salt. Yep, same on both. All right, so let's give them a try though. If I were atomic shrimp, I'd call this weird stuff in a can, but I'm not, and I guess coffee really isn't that weird. Let's try the espresso first. Actually, let's, let's open them both up and compare them side by side before drinking. So there is our espresso. And our mocha. And, um, well, not really any visual differences there. I want to say the espresso is maybe a little darker, but I think that really just me may just be my imagination. It may just be me wanting it to be darker because I would expect it to be. All right, let's give them a try. Give them a sniff. Our espresso first. Yep, smells like a, like a rich coffee. Smells like a slightly lighter coffee. I'm not getting like any chocolate notes, but it doesn't, to me, smell as like dark as that one does. And again, that could just be me expecting espresso to be darker. But of course, the proof is in the pudding and the trial is in the taste. That actually does taste a little like the UCC to me. It's um, it's not very bitter, but it's not over not. It's maybe a little sweet, but not overly sweet. Not like not like you know, like eating a piece of candy. 
it could be a, it could be a little bit more bitter for me but it's not bad i mean it's better than i expected i kind of expected just you know kind of cheap coffee all right sorry mocha I don't taste mocha. It's a little sweeter than this one, but I don't taste anything that one could call chocolate. If that just said coffee on it, didn't say mocha on it, I wouldn't wouldn't know it was supposed to be a mocha. They don't taste that different. This is just maybe a little bit more bitter. That's really all I can say about them. Yeah, so that's a thing. It's a thing we did. Canned coffees. Uh, you know, I could maybe sing this occasionally. Because uh, it does taste, it does remind me a little bit of the UCC. Maybe I'll get another one of these and get an actual UCC coffee. And we can try them side by side to see how they stack up to each other. Because that's, that's not bad for canned coffee. I want to say it tastes similar to a UCC to me, but I haven't had UCC in a while. So I think that mm, that's possibly just my memory. This, eh. I mean, if you're going to this wanting something kind of chocolatey, you're not going to get it. If you just want like a sweet tinned coffee, that's your boy. But uh, yeah, it's not, it doesn't taste like a mocha. It doesn't taste like a, like a mocha from a coffee shop or even one you might make at home or even like a Frappuccino bottled mocha from Starbucks. No, nothing wrong with either one of them. That was just a kind of disappointment because I was expecting it to taste like a mocha. Uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this one. It actually tastes pretty good. It tastes like a pretty decent uh, coffee. But I guess, you know, I mean, even at a discount store, a buck for a, for a tin of coffee is not a tremendously wonderful price. All right, that's enough of that. That's a thing for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Remember, for some reason, YouTube seems to think that the number of people subscribed to your channel is kind of more important than the number of people actually watching your videos. And, uh, ring the little bell icon so you can see when I post more of these. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.